hi guys welcome back to the channel so today's diy project is going to be a sewing project and we are going to be making this flared dress so my fabric is about two yards and i folded it four times as you can see i put two yards together and then i folded them in half then i measured that portion of my chest that i'm showing you then I also measured down about 3 inches and then I transferred those measurements onto my fabric. So I know that you may not exactly be able to see where I'm marking because the fabric has a pattern that is very busy. So I'm going to show you an illustration at the end. Then I also measured my bust. So that second measurement was my bust. And it will be slightly longer, about 3 inches wider. And then I connect those two points using my circle ruler. So that is going to be my armpit. So now at this point, I was just basically trying to get the length of the dress. So I wanted the length to be uniform from top to bottom. So you can see that I'm put, I was putting the tape measure on top at the top top of the fabric and then making sure that I have the same length all across the fabric. Then when I go to that end, I now joined that portion to that part. The part where the armpit ends straight to down to the bottom then i just drew a straight line using a roller And then I took my pinking shears and then I just cut. So remember the fabric was folded in half. And when I open it up, I have two pieces that look like this. That is the shape that I had. So this is just a diagram to show you how it looked like and the measurements that I used. Then I used that same printed fabric to cut my lining. And I just used this yellow plain lining fabric. So using the lining fabric, I made a little pattern for the pockets and then I cut a fabric for the pockets and I cut two of these. So all in total, I had four pieces of these yellow pocket fabrics and then I just joined them on the sewing machine like that. So that was the pockets joined together. Then I now took my lining pieces and then I would open the lining piece, the front and the back, and then insert my pocket. So I put my pockets onto the lining, which was going to go inside the dress. And then I just sewed the sides. So 
after sewing the sides of the lining i now sewed the sides of the main part of the dress to join the front and the back so there was just pinning getting ready to go and sew it on the sewing machine So after sewing, I turned inside out the front and the back piece of the dress. Then I took my yellow pieces, which I joined on the sides, remember, and inserted the pockets. And then I just took the dress and I put it inside the lining. And I went to the top part like that and then I pinned so if you are not inserting any lining at this point you just go and hem that top part And there I had stitched the lining and the dress together. Then I just turned it inside out and I went and I pressed it flat. So now to make the arms, the circular arms for the dress, I measured my arm and that was about 10 inches. So I made my fabric 20 inches by 20 inches and I folded it like that and then I just marked in the circular motion like that. Then I pinned the fabric in place to stop it from moving when I'm cutting. Then I just went ahead and I cut it like that. So when I opened it up, I had my four pieces for the arms. I also cut uh, equal pieces of lining. That are the same size and shape and then i now took the fabric and then i put the right sides facing each other and then i pinned right around the edge of the circle fabric and then after folding it like that two times into a little square i marked about two inches from the, from the corner and then I just went ahead and I cut it
and I did the same for all the other four pieces and I went on to sew them on the sewing machine like that and then after sewing I turned them inside out all of them one by one And then I just went ahead and I pressed them flat. You're a rolling stone, but I'm a cannonball. So now for the main portion of the sleeve, I used my t-shirt that I already owned. which is the same size of the sleeve that I required then I just used my tracing wheel onto, and then I traced the shape of the pattern onto a piece of paper and then I just outlined it using a marker like that and then I just cut it out so this was the pattern that I used for my sleeve So there are my two sleeve pieces Then I folded them over and joined them as, I, as you can see and then I also did the same thing for the lining folded them and joined them on the edges then I sewed them on the sewing machine so after sewing I will now turn the, the African print sleeve inside out and then I don't turn out the lining inside out, then I just insert it into the sleeve. So they are my two sleeves lined. And then now I now take the main part of the dress and then I go and I touch the sleeves on the armpits like that. So you notice that I have that big um, portion of the sleeve sticking out because this is going to be an off shoulder dress. First I cut off excess and then I fold them inside. So you may actually also insert elastic onto the sleeves at this point but if it fits you perfectly because Obviously during sewing I was trying it out and making sure that everything fits. And when I was done pinning everything together I went on and I sewed this on the sewing machine. Attached the sleeves onto the dress and then also sewed that top part shut. And then the last and final part was to insert the circles and I put two of them for that layered effect. 
since in the picture there were two so you can put two if you want or you can even put more so that was the complete sleeve done and that was the dress so you can wear the dress with or without a belt personally i preferred wearing the dress with a belt so thank you so much for watching this video guys i'm going to see you in the next one